literally be dead without gluten. Most of your ancestors were probably poor and lived off of gluten for a long time. We have made gluten a nocebo, the opposite of placebo with what we're doing. Now, if somebody tr is truly reactive to gluten, it's because uh, they experienced a traumatic event and gluten was blamed or gluten was part of the conflict. So for example, somebody has colitis, they see blood in the toilet for the first time, they're freaking out. The brain does weird things under stress. And so if you're freaking out, there's blood in the toilet, the first thing you do is you go on YouTube and it, and it blames bread. And you went, oh my God, I just ate bread. I just ate bread. Guess what? The bread's still in your stomach. How in the world could it have caused blood to show up right here so fast? And you've been eating it your whole life. Makes no sense. But the but the the brain the, a traumatized brain can't think very straight. So, you know, and you just believe whatever the experts tell you. So now it's like, wow, gluten, like now it's like this symbol of trauma gluten. Another way, that, that's how a lot of, that like 90% of celiac cases are like true, and I hate to use the word celiac because it's so dumb, but true, a true gluten allergy is, gluten is a symbol of the conflict. And that was on a conscious level because I ate it. But it could also be like, let's say you were eating a sandwich and then somebody punched you in the head. Now your brain's like, oh my God, every time I eat a sandwich, somebody's going to punch me in the head. And your gut goes into overdrive every time you come in contact with gluten. So those are the two ways someone could develop a true a gluten allergy. Um, but also don't forget, gluten is just protein in storage form found in all grains. So the gluten-free stuff that you're eating, there's actually gluten in it because it's just protein in storage form. And you're telling yourself you're afraid of the body of Christ and you are afraid of protein, which, stand, which means proteus is a Greek word for proteus, which means of the utmost importance. So these are the main digestive issues. They are caused by a conflict shock that puts your gut into overdrive, and there is a lot more nerdy details on what's going on down here, like why it's inflamed and how to fix it. I go over that in my webinar. I'm way over my TikTok time. Uh, limit for this video. So go watch my webinar if you want to know what to do to fix these conditions and more of the nerdy details. Bye-bye.